work all year, all off season, all year, training camp, everything for the chance to put ourselves in first place. And it all comes down to one day. It all comes down to today. This is the you look for. This is the we work for. This is why we sweat together, bleed together, play together every single day for days like today. This is the we dream about as kids. A chance to go out and earn a championship. Let's go. That is a great job. Now let me tell you something. This is this is what winning feels like. When we had to have it at the end of the game, we stopped them on defense, really throughout the game. And then when we had to have it on offense at the end of the game, we put together a hell of a drive. That's Houston Texan football. And hey, get used to it. You guys in this locker room get used to it. The Texans are the number one defense in the NFL over the past month, allowing 8.8 .8 yards per game, 250 yards per game. J.J. Watt has more sacks this year than that entire Bills defense in front, which is worth about $300 million. They have the best defense in the NFL, but one of the best in history. The Texans are one of the best teams in the AFC right now. all week about making plays. Go out there, let it loose. We're 53 brothers on one field for one goal. Quick pass deflected in the air, intercepted, picked off by the Texans. A.J. Boye with his third interception, and J.J. Watt got a hand on that one. You know, the veteran quarterback. Good point. First and ten. Walker hit by Watt. That's a live ball. Here comes J.J. Kendall Wright gets him. Walker pushes him out of bounds. J.J. Watt has done it again. See if the protection can hold up the Mettenberg. Throws far side of the field. It's intercepted. Kevin Johnson, the rookie corner, making a play for the Houston defense. Have beaten the Colts just four times in 27 meetings and have never beaten them here in Indianapolis. Hasselbeck going to go deep. And that is caught by the Texans, intercepted by A.J. Boyd. Well, in, I, in, I guess statistically it was one of the best, but I think even visually it was one of the best defensive seasons I've ever seen. I mean, it's a shame because in a quarterback year where you have so many quarterbacks throwing 40 touchdown passes, sorry, J.J., it's going to go quarterback MVP. That's the way this league is. But when you look at the defensive things that he was able to do, and then on top of it, come over and play offense and gets touchdowns, I mean, the guy's incredible. I mean, he's having a Hall of Fame career. No question about it. He's playing like a first ballot Hall of Famer. Now, you hate to even talk Hall of Fame when you're in the middle. just great watching. And up. What was detected there in all likelihood, it's first at 15. Dalton downfield. Jones in the middle of the field. Nearly intercepted. Joseph. Oh, he finally did pull it in. Castle back throwing, coming across. That's complete. Incomplete. Ball fell loose. Picked up. Picked up by the Texans. Kareem Jackson. What a tremendous athlete he is. He's one of my favorite guys to watch. Lecter's kick. He's okay. juggled. Ball is loose. Special teams. The red shirts get in there again. Special teams. Three weeks in a row. Turned it over. Once again at the 22 yard line. The Texans get the break they need. Unbelievable. Hunt block for a touchdown. Pump return for a touchdown. A fumble against Denver two weeks ago to turn that game around. You're up 14. You fumble another punt. It has absolutely been a nightmare on special teams for the Patriots lately. Sean Martin with John Simon with the recovery. Second and 10 just outside the 30. Andrews on a second carry. Football comes loose. It's recovered by Dips, and he will stroll into the end zone. There's a penalty marker on the field. Just behind the line of scrimmage. 32 yards on the return by Demps if the play stands. Not the start that Mike Malarkey had. Oh, 
holding. Offense number 80. That penalty is declined. The slow to the play. The touchdown. Anthony Fasano, the culprit. And the return fumble for a touchdown will stand for him. Watch Kareem Jackson, number 25. There's the hit right there. Ball comes out of the hands of Andrew, scooped up by Quentin Dips. We talked about this defense. We said at the top, Romeo Cornell has been playing with much higher energy since that Week 7 loss to Miami. Pursuit angles and tackling has been the emphasis. When you hit like this, the ball tends to pop loose. 29 turnover on the season committed by Tennessee. Just get the ball out of his game. Guard, pump base, now going deep. Jones along the sideline, comes back to make the catch. Ball comes out, Jones picks it up. At the 20, he loses it again. Ball is loose. And the Texans fall on it for a touchback. They're gonna set it down at the one. What a wild play here in Oakland. Jones had two fumbles on the same play. One catch, two fumbles. Uh, he's absolutely disgusted with himself. He should be. He's a great catch on a back shoulder throw that was great by Carr. He recovers intelligently and picks the ball up. First down. Wow. When it rains, it pours. It's first down and 10. End it all. What? Plug it up. Oh, no. This may be what they need. Mendenhall, who has one fumble this year, and he's been known to put it on the ground. Yes, you can ask the Steeler fans about that. Wow. See, Houston's, look at them. They're going to talk to the officials about it. It's a strong. This is a huge, huge decision here. Here are the Texans. You need. Oh, it's Houston's it's ball. Field is fumbled, recovered by the defense. First down. Who got it? it uh, what wow. was the one, at least with a first hand on Mendenhall? His second fumble. It's costly. Yep, there he goes. Your reigning NFL Defensive Player of the Year, are J. We surprised? J. Watt.